A sticky summer's day in Shepherdstown An eagle in a thermal is a circle And now like a tire on a bike Rolling down Columbus Street But Katie got a little look of hope in her eyes And her arms unfold And she looked to the skies and said I'm gonna learn to fly around with you, yeah She jumped up high and she fell on the ground And skinned her little knee and made a horrible sound She got right up and she tried it again And smiling all the way with her unstoppable grin Hello! Hi! Welcome to episode 84 of Dent on the Fly. I'm Katie, also known as Jet Girl. And this is... Tina, otherwise known as Knitter Freak. Yeah! I have known, known Tina since my early days on Ravelry. We were part of the She Knits group eons and eons ago. And she's at my house because we're going knitting. Knit knit and Heather's making faces at us from the other room. <laughs> she's making pig noses at us. But anyway, we are at our house, at my me and my honey's house, and Heather is here. You'll see her in a minute. And Tina's here because we're getting up at way before oh dark thirty to drive way to too Portland. Early. Way too early, but it's well worth it. Because we get to spend a day with CJ Kopec. Yes. Yay. And we get to spend four days with all our knitterly folks out in Michigan. And uh, too bad it's not somewhere warmer. Yeah. <laughs> but what are you going to do? What you working on? Um, socks. She just just on. Toe up. And I just ripped them out and started them over. Yes. She was knitting on them at Over the Rainbow Yarns. And they were huge. huge. She has, she's loose like me. <laughs> Very loose. Lucy Goosey. Heather's the tight ass. <laughs> You're not getting. <laughs> but anyway, we just wanted to say hi. Hi. We'll see you from Knit in the Mitten. Bye. Bye. Hello. Welcome to episode 84. <laughs> Loser. I'm Knit on the Fly. I'm Katie, also known as Jack Girl 1313. This is Heather, also known as Boutros Babe, by Barista Files, Highland Handmaids, Intention Yarns. All around, pain in the butt. Sorry. I'm done now. She said not me. <laughs> it is Tuesday, November 6th. Woo-woo. Yep. The 6th. It's election day for those it's of you in the It's election day US. in the U.S. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. She uh, voted, too. I voted at, like, 8 o'clock this morning. I voted when we got, got down to the coast after I went and got my haircut. We've been doing the Lily Blonde hair uh, flip uh, all afternoon. Because you feel fabulous after you get your hair cut and they style it. You just wanna. You just strut around. I didn't get my hair cut, but I henna my hair so I have no more skunk stripe. It's pretty. So, and henna makes your hair really soft and luxurious and luscious and it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's been a full hair day for the two of us. It has been. That is probably the second intro you've seen. Because we're going to record an intro Ooh. with the third member. Yes. Yes. So, Sorry. you probably got two intros, which is fine. I really She's hate a when, little... you, when you say hi like 15 times, too. I'm like, we I know, know you said hi, you don't want to say hi again. I know. <laughs> we're doing it. Oh, Would you like start, then you start, you start. <laughs> but anyway, um, Tina, who you already saw, um, is a little camera shy, and she's a little shy in general, so she didn't want to, <laughs> she's not allowed to obnoxious like we so are. She's so, she's clicking add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> then just clear. Tina, we love you. We do. Um, but so she just was in the intro, and... And um, I asked her if she wanted to be in the whole thing or if she just wanted to make a cameo, and she said just a cameo. So we actually are gonna record the intro after this. Yes, because she's not time. here yet. Real because time. She's, so we're gonna. She's do it still on the island where she lives. She's the elector, election official for her island. So she has to wait till the polls close at four, which has already happened. So she's probably heading for the boat. I think the boat leaves at four. Leaved. Leaves. Is leaving the, the island. ferry. The ferry is she, leaving um, the island. She's knitter freak for those of you if she didn't oh, yeah. say so. I she might she may say so. I don't know. Oh, we'll but. tell her to say so, sorry. Anyway, but she should be on her way to the mainland very shortly. So we're gonna record quick and then we're gonna go ahead up to the L Y S over the rainbow. Um and then we're gonna meet her. Yep. Oh I gotta go I'm gonna have to go get my computer because we need to do the drawing later. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Yay! So. <laughs> <laughs> watching. Wow. If she only could. <laughs> you don't know where everything's in. You don't even remember what you bought. No, I have no idea. I know I bought something, and I, I, I remember thinking, oh, I have oh. Katie, and I have no idea what it was. Okay. So, we voted. It is also celebrate the sock to vote. My finished object. Oh, careful. 
tea. I saw it. It's my socks. <laughs> so they're both done. They're both cast off. Um, I do think my big fat foot's all stretched it out. But this is the 70 20 10. It's merino, 20% yes. cashmere, 10% nylon. <laughs> they I feel will fabulous. buy it. It's Space Cadet Creations. I love the base. I hate to say that I dislike the yarn. Um, I did see a couple people have over dyed it. Actually, someone over dyed it with a gray. And there's nothing wrong with the color. You just don't like yellow. It's just not my and it washes selection. So we're going to dye yeah. it blue. We're going to dye it or green. So, but it, the base is phenomenal. Mm. I will definitely buy Space Cadet. that Space mm. Cadet again. Well, that was a gift, but I will buy Space Cadet because huh, the base is fantastic. So I've been living in those the last two days because it's getting friggin' cold up here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's we'll we talk can't. About it all it the time. snowed yesterday up where we are. We're up by her. House. In the mountains. Her, her it snowed in the mountains yesterday. It was not fun. Um, it didn't stick on the ground, really. No. But it stuck it, about it, 15 miles north of us. It stuck. It was on the ground this morning. And when the mountain, to the actual mountains, Katahdin, mm. um, the other ones, had snow covering on them. But it, it was really coming down there for a little it while. Was. It was very pretty. It was very... Yeah. I was very frantic because I was packing for Knit and the Mitten. Um, I just twitched when I thought of that. We're keeping her calm because uh, we don't want to work her into but a But it was migraine. nice to watch the snow because the snow yeah. was very calming. And, yeah. uh, if you're following me on Instagram, there may have been some snowflakes on my black dog because that's the only oh, contrast yeah. I could get was to take a picture oh. of my dog's head and be like, look, there's yep. snowflakes. Okay. Okay, quick, sorry. Jet setting. I worked Thursday and Friday morning. Um, I did stuff around the house because I have guests here, obviously. My craft room may be a disaster, but the rest of the house is pretty acceptable, I think. The cat room has I would cat. judge you anyway. I know, but I like to have a... I, I don't want to I look do like too. a clutter. I'm, I'm, you a, I'm a, a clutter nut. <laughs> so, I did stuff around here. Um, I met Heather up in Bangor. We shipped some stuff. Yes, on Friday. Yep. Maybe some big space bags full of fiber. Oh my god. We oh had my god, it was so funny. I had to buy a strapping tape because I wasn't sure the bag was gonna, the box was gonna stay. Now this is the giant box that I get from one of my fiber suppliers. It's oh a heavy duty god. box. And I That's had huge. to straddle the box and push it with my legs because my arms weren't strong enough to do it and tape. Like, so I couldn't, so I had to step on around so both sides of the box and push my knees into it and then tape it really quick and then flip into it the other way and tape it really quick. And then I had to buy strapping tape because I was afraid it wasn't gonna. It was still gonna pop open. Oh, oh, it's time for the new mitten! <laughs> it's two boxes. One box had all the fiber and yarn. Yep, most of the fiber and yarn. And then the second box had all of my show supplies, bags, um, money box. All her stuff. All that stuff and yep. the rest of the yarn. Yep, so we shipped that. Got that out. Um, you shipped some... stuff to Kobe. I shipped stuff to Kobe because immediately from the retreat, I've got to go to training in Ohio. And I'm already going to have my wheel with me, and I don't need to try to pack 10 days worth of clothes. Mm. <laughs> I shipped, shipped my swap package, my bobbins, my clothes, my clothes for the, for the training stuff. I think it's business cash. I hope that's what it is, because that's all I'm bringing. It better not be anything more than, like, khakis and a nice shirt. It's because training. I know, but it better not be anything more than that, because... Because you uh, don't like it, tough, send me home. Yeah, pretty much. So, um... Maybe you should go in pajamas. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Don't let me oh, sorry. Oh, too bad. Oh. Sorry. Shucks. Yep. Um, spend some time with my honey. Uh, he is done with his awful shift as of Saturday. Thank God. No more overnights. Um, that is done. Uh, we came down on Sunday to What do you mean come Owl's down? Head. Yes. We came down here to Owl's Head. To Rockland. Drove. We drove down because our plane's back in its hangar. It's back in our, its home for the winter. And we are going to... Jeremy was going to solo which means he's going to take up Wendy by himself without me for the first time. He has done this before. It's a huge step in getting completing your training. You do training. You Excuse me. You solo. You do cross countries. You do cross countries solo. And then basically you're done. So he did this about 10 years ago. And he flies the plane beautifully. We just He hasn't had his medical, so he went and got his medical <clears throat> this week. And um, we we're going to solo. What well, was beautiful up here, up in the mountains. It's beautiful down here and it was forecast to be beautiful all day. And by the time we got here and got the plane ready, the wind had picked up to twenty knots, which is too much for a uh, for a for a private pilot trainee. So we went up and we went around the pattern once and he did a fabulous job. He was very good with his power management. It's a lot of throttle 
when you're fighting wind, it's a lot of... It's knowing how to thrust. Yes. Well, when, when controlling the thrust. The thrust. Um, huh. Hmm. Oh. He's good with that. He's good at controlling the thrust. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> Fuck your nose, it doesn't come out. Oh my god, why did you wait to <laughs> take a drink? You started it before I you know, took a drink. I know, but that doesn't make me laugh. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go there. You went there, then my We're head. drinking chocolate mint. I'm drinking cheaper. vanilla cream. Oh. You didn't tell me there's vanilla cream. No, I'm going with the chocolate mint. It's good. That's Th these are my two. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going. We're, we gotta go, because we gotta go again. Mm. Come on, let's go. And you only have okay, so anyway, in your battery. I know. Um... The weather was very gusty. He did a fantastic job. I didn't have to assist on the landing at all. It was nine gusting 18, which is, it's a 100% gust factor, which is, can be a huge issue. And he knew that he had to keep in more speed. And so he came in, he landed beautifully. And he's like, yeah, I'm good. We don't need to solo on a deal like today. And I'm like, well, I wasn't going to do it anyway. But he is very good in the fact that he knows his own limits. He's like, you know what? We don't need to push it. Like, he doesn't need to get hurt. And the small issue is we don't need to hurt the airplane. Like, the plane can be fixed or junked, but not getting him hurt is... And you not getting hurt as well. Well, I wouldn't be there if he was soloing. <laughs> well, but <laughs> you were in it. Well, I know. Time. So anyway, we did, he didn't get to do it, so he'll. we're going to try to do it as soon as I get back the next weekend from all the training and everything. So, um, Sunday, we I was supposed to go help Heather, <laughs> and I really just wanted to spend the day vegged out watching football in pajama pants with him. And my I'm, husband wanted to spend time with me. I was like, come on, right, Katie. Okay. She's like, well. And my husband was like, well, and I was like, <laughs> well, so we didn't hang out. Often. She's only going to be gone from her honey till Sunday, and I'm going to be gone for an extra five days. So I was like, it's fine. It's fine. It's not even a problem. No, I, and she, oh my God, sorry, I feel so guilty. She's like, oh my God, stop. So, yeah. She's good. I she's don't care. I know how they are. Yeah, we are. We're sapiens. Do you see my face? She? They're all lovey dovey. Kaki's going to smack you because she's lovey dovey too. But he's not there. Mm. And I really. Oh my god, you could be horrible to each other. Like, at least you're not. No, we're not. Like, no, we're not. You, I mean, they're really fabulous with each other, but... <laughs> we're mushy. <laughs> I'm not a mushy person. Like, I'm not an emotional person, and she's both. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Are you crying again? <laughs> I'm always... You're still crying. I'm always crying. In whatever. Like, it could be baseball, <laughs> it could be something else. Oh, you're still <laughs> crying in baseball. Jeez. Still crying. <laughs> um, this morning, it was freaking cold. Yesterday it was, was so cold. No, yesterday was Monday. Yeah. about Monday. You said Sunday. You stayed home. And then Monday yeah. we stayed home. I just put, spent to time together Sunday and Monday. Oh, okay. You didn't say that. So, okay. oh yeah. Monday, yeah, we just did stuff around the house. We cleaned it up. We did dish, like, we caught up on everything. I made lists and lists and lists oh, and lists and lists. You. And I checked them all off with your way. And today's election day. We're down here. Yep. She got, she, oh, she elected. <laughs> she voted in the election, went to the PO. I got stuff done around. My house got oh, picked wait. up. Oh, wait. I picked her too. Oh, Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, so I'm not afraid, I voted yes on one for marriage equality. Maine is, if this passes, question one, which is, um, the way it's written is, do you want to allow the state to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples? If that passes, which it's predicted to, Maine will be the first state in the entire country to legalize same-sex marriage by popular vote. Really? As opposed to legislation. Really? Ooh. It was passed by legislation a few years ago, and then it was whatever they do to They it put to it the... onto the ballot, and then it was rejected, and now a few years later, nice. uh, now it looks like it's going to pass. So I'm very, very proud cool. of my, I'm, I'm proud of my state for, for doing the work. Um, the Yes on One people have been grassroots. They did a, yeah. they did a um, flash mob in Bangor. Oh, did they this really? weekend? I saw the video. It's pretty cool. So, very cool. Um, I'm going to be watching the election coverage tonight, and hopefully um, we'll find out that that was nice. So. Very cool. Well, we will be watching that I tonight. I walk the walk. Like. I, did, uh, I didn't buy a t-shirt, but I did vote yes on one also. I'm sorry if that upset some of you, but... Moving it's, on. It's, it is what it is. Um, in route, do you have any jet setting besides going to knit in the mitten? No. <laughs> Funny See? enough, I stayed home and worked from my house all day, every day. <laughs> huh. Sleep huh. Yeah, I don't even yeah. think I went to Milo. <laughs> no. Um... So, what this do you is only the third time in my life that I will get on a commercial airplane. I, ah. My best friend is a pilot, ah. and this will be my third time on a commercial airplane. I'm pretty airplane. sure Tina's not a big, like, has not flown a lot either. Mm. Like, not to near the level I yeah, have, no, so no. I, I'll be making level. sure they get there. They're going to hate me in the morning because I'm She's very like, much a... She's like, you security, and I don't. So I'm going to bang on the glass on the other side and be like... No, I'm pretty sure you said you should well, do that when I go through. And, then, yeah, and, then you and I do have to go through screening, but I can budge to the front. <laughs> 
I probably won't, because, like, when I'm with Jeremy... No, it's fine, you can. I don't budge. What's the point? I'm gonna have to wait one way or the other. Might so as well stand like, with you. See that girl that went through security? Yeah, I'm with her. <laughs> Let me through. Seriously. I'm with the pilot. If I get patted down in a special room, I'm gonna be really upset with you. You need to, like, vouch for me You're or something. There will be no cavity be searches You're on the airplane. No oh, cavity my God. searching. What do you need? They have to at least buy me dinner. What do you need? <laughs> what are you knitting on? Um... I can't remember if I showed this last week. I don't think it's made a lot of progress this week, so it's very possible you, this is a do-over. If you don't watch my podcast, by the way, it's the Five Reasons Files. It's thefivereasonsfiles.com. Mm. Oh, I'm also be. on... What is that thing? iTunes? Oh. Don't watch it on iTunes, by the way. Watch it on the... All podcasts. Blog or Blip. You should watch on either Blip, um, which is blip.tv, or the... Usually they're on a, a Their blog. Their show notes page. Yep. Yeah, because... Um, Podcasters get a very small amount of revenue. It's about three cents per view. But not if, if you, you watch view it. it if you view it through the Blip viewer or through um, the player. And actually, I think if you watch it through Downcast, oh, it do counts. Does it, do you see the because commercials? Because it, it goes no. Because the revenue comes from the commercials. So if you see no. the commercials, then no, you, the podcasters get, get the revenue. I mean, it's only three cents a view, but, but so it adds eighty percent of my views are from iTunes or from other uh, uh, revenue sources. So. Mind you. Anyways. This oven mitt. is the oven mitt stock. I've done this oven mitt pattern twice. This, this is number three. Um, it's knit out of Fiber Nymph Dye Works, Happy Camper Base, and the Piano Man colorway. It's a green, gray, blue, and brown stripe. This is sock number two. It's going to have a gusset heel. Whatever, that's what he wants. That's what fits him. Okay. And then... Um, I finished something, but we haven't landed yet, so we're in, right? On no. Earth? Okay. We well, landed. I showed him my sock, but that's just because oh. I was excited and it was talking okay. about it. <laughs> um, okay, well, then I'll have landed. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. I'm going to try and get it to the appropriate spot on the pattern. Mm. Um, this is a new sock pattern that I have just started knitting. It's not my design. It's called Eowyn. It's a Lord of the Rings sock. Um, it's not from the Fellowship of the Sock series. It's from another series. She did several. Who is this? Um, it's the chick that did the Lord of the Rings socks. I don't know. She did the, um, if you watch Sadie Ruit, the Yarnivore podcast, she's been doing the Legolas and the Strider and all those other socks. Oh, yeah. It's from the same designer, but it's a different series. Oh. Um, A1 is actually a free pattern. That's the one that you want right there. This one? Yeah, it's the best picture probably. Um, it's, a, it's, it's not an easy knit. Um, no. Not that it's difficult, but seriously, this chart, I've done, this is 20 rows of the chart that I've done, and I'm only this far. And there's like at least six, how many different tables? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, There's at least 15, 14 different types of cables in this one, one chart. So the yarn is... Socks that rock lightweight in the grok colorway. It is purple, green, black, gray. It's an overwash for black color, so it's very dark. Um, I love the yarn and the pattern combo. Whose is it? Hmm? Whose is it? Socks that rock lightweight. Oh, I, I um, just said that. I'm, I'm also using for the sure. first time ever the Chagu red red needles. They're just red. The steel ones that have the bend. Oh my god, do I love these needles? New favorite needles. New favorite needles. They've received I will be my more. Chibi has or Chibi, Chagu has Chowgu. It actually says it means crafty woman. Did you know that? Oh, Chowgu means I like crafty woman. Now. And that, they say like it says right on the right side, left side of their page, like Chow means woman and Goo means crafty or one way or the other. Okay. So it means crafty woman. And um, Chowgu. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the socks. Um, I will be doing that more on the plane, I think, than at Knit in the Mitten because I have to look at. Right. The chart, and then I have to flip it over and look at the cable, and then look back, then look back, then look back, then look back, then knit it. Um, but there, I was looking for a more complicated sock. Yep. And I'm really happy with it. So very cool. So far. Um, I am still working on my turkey hat. Not much has changed except I've got more of the feathers done for Heidi. Um, we had a little bit of an ex excitement on Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night, she sent me a text and said, "We're headed to the hospital." Woo! She's about. I think she's due on the 25th, so she's about 20 days early, but at this point, the baby's, I don't know if it's considered full-term quite yet, but she's close. Like, they're not concerned about it. The doctor was expecting her to go early anyway. Her baby's going to, is, however they do the estimation when they do the ultrasounds and stuff, they said she'll probably between, be between six and seven pounds, which is perfectly normal. Not everyone has to have a nine-pound child. 
So, yeah. <laughs> we were all six, seven pounds. My brothers, as twins, were seven pounds each. My mother carried 14 pounds of baby within two weeks of term with twins. Oh, know. my God. Oh, there's my Midwestern guy. <laughs> So anyway, um, we're we're a seven pound we're a seven pound baby family. Like, there's been a couple of beasts born in this family, but that's about where we are. So I've got to work, got to finish the turkey hat. She's being induced tonight, Monday night, Tuesday night, Tuesday night the sixth. She's being induced at seven thirty, eight thirty our time. So we will be no, by. yes, because she's in she's behind. Concert. I was like no, because of the time change. No, but no, she's behind us. We got the extra hour this weekend. So she. Uh, She's retaining a lot of water right now. She's puffy. She's so puffy. She's like, I look like a psycho. And her, she looks so uncomfortable. I'm so glad they're induced here. Cause, yeah. But her husband's been taking good care of her. So I need to finish that hat. Uh, the pig hat just needs some nostrils sewn onto the snout. Then I need to assemble it and get that off to her. I'll try to get both of those sent at the same time. She loved the aviator hat. She's taking the aviator hat to the airport. <laughs> she cried. I bawled. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Jeremy's like, what? <laughs> Just See, like that. I always have to ask my husband what he says because he doesn't move his teeth. Oh. And he mumbles wicked bad. So I'm like, what was that? <laughs> but it's you. It's because you cry. You're like, what was that? I know. So I restarted again my sweater. I had cast on and done the setup row about a week ago. Then I was informed by my LYS that we're knitting a sweater in November. You have to wait to November to start working on your sweater. Nenesuemo. Whatever. National. I know. But they're all doing it together. Yeah. You're not going to get that done in a month, are you? I'm trying. That's my crazy. Remember? Oh, right, right, right. It's my crazy. Dude, you can do we'll it if, that's, if you're monogamous. Like, you can do that. No more sock the boats. It's right. only, it's only seven rows. Four of them are pattern rows. And they are very straightforward pattern rows. I better, oh, I hope I brought the pattern to the board. I have each row written out on the note card so I can sit back and just glance at it because every 24 stitches is a repeat. But only the first 12 stitches is the right. pattern. Because you do the traveling rib on the first 12, and then the last 12 you just knit two pearls and two pearls and knit two pearls. Two. You do the first 12, and then you just then you do then you flip knit off the it. knits, pearl the pearls on the way back. And so it's it's actually not bad. I wanted to practice it a little bit before to see if it was right. something I thought I could do at the retreat. And I think I can, because I've got a pattern now. And that's knit out of... It's the Grizzly colorway, right? Yes. Grizzly colorway, and it's the Highland Handmaid's White Ash Worsted. Yes. Single ply. Knit on US 8s. Which See, is I've a 7.0 millimeter, I think? I don't know. I think it's a Wait, look at the... I don't have the conversion. Conversionator. Oh, she millimeter. has it all written down. 8 is a 5 millimeter? Yeah. All oh, right, because the six is the four millimeter, so the eight yeah. is the five millimeter. Gotcha. I cheat. I put it on the wall. Okay. So anyway, so I'm millimeter. working on that, and you then can... there's gonna be a bunch. Oh, that's that's coming up. Landed. What do you got for landed? <gasps> oh, I have a big landed. Where is it? Behind me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's right there. Oh, so excited. First one ever. She hasn't even tried it on yet. I'm well, I tried it on before I bought it. I'm riding her out. That's my sweater. That's all done. Look at that. Look at that sweatery goodness. Oh, it's so squishy. What's oh, this? It's, so squishy. it's superwash merino. It's the stuff that I won't carry in the shop because it gets bloody. Oh, oh it's pain right. in it with. Um, Ooh, I love this. This is the dairy raglan and cowl. And I don't know if you'll, you probably won't be able to tell. But there's a like a leaf patterning that goes down the sleeves. That's awesome. I changed the 2x2 two two ribbing on the hem and the cuffs to be garter because I prefer that. And I mm -hmm. also made the garter hem um, a shirt tail. Like, I split it oh, and knit cool. back and forth on half and then knit back and forth on the other half so that um, yeah. it wouldn't bunch at the bottom because that's not where I need bunching. Um, <laughs> it does have, like, you, at the end, you pick up around the neckline. You pick up and knit all the way around and then you cast it off. And it was we'll supposed to stop the talking. curling, but it didn't stop the curling. So I'm just going to have to deal with that. Um, I spray brought this according to Knit Picks directions on how you're supposed to block a sweater. Um, it dried pretty quick. I had the fan on it. Um, I, I didn't block it super aggressively because I didn't want a little pin tucks from the pins, but I did stretch it out, um, a bit. It's snug. It's not that I knit the wrong size. It's that Ow. I misunderstood how to knit a sweater. Sorry, that bang your It hurts my toe. <laughs> um, the picture in the, mo the model, the sweater yeah. the model had on, had a lot of ease. She probably had a good three inches of positive ease in her sweater. Right. So I thought that that would correlate to the size that you knit. 
Like, I thought that if you were oh. 38 bust and you knit the 38 sweater, it gave you ease. Then that would give you the positive ease. Oh. No, 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 no. It fits the 38 bust exactly. Oh. Now, I have a bit of a spare tire. And so I have like the boob bump and then the belly bump. <laughs> so it's not the sweater's fault. The sweater would fit me if I didn't have a giant gut. <laughs> so I need to lose some weight and then it will fit me perfectly. Oh. I'm calling it a win. It's finished. I started this in it February. It is a win. February to October. And it's not even that big of a sweater. Just because I keep putting it down. But um, the next garment of size that I knit is actually going to be the Vani, which is a vest. But it's not a full vest. It's a sleeveless sweater, oh. I guess, because it has just a quarter zip. Yeah. Um, it's like a pumpkin-y orange. That's right. not a DK weight, so it's going to be just as many stitches. Yikes. We'll see how it goes. But I have a finished sweater. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it in it. I'm going to wear it on Thursday when we get up at CJ Kopik's house. Because mm -hmm. we're hanging out with CJ Kopik. Yeah, we are. The. The CJ Kopik. Like, oh it's like the Ohio State. Yes. Not just Ohio the Ohio State, State University. Yeah. My line, it was my socks. I showed you. They're cozy. Ooh. I like them. Um, take off. <laughs> Christmas stuff is still supposed to be taking off. It's not really working out pretty well. Because now I thought I figured out what I was going to take to knit in the mitten, and now I just want to take all the things. But I'm only carrying a backpack, so yeah. we'll see how that goes. Ten minutes but, before you showed up, I changed my mind and added two more things. Nice! <laughs> What's going to bring them and then doll in there? Yeah. So, this is, this is the thing I'm going to work on on the airplane. It's black with little shades of purple in it. If you look real close, you probably can't see it, but it is what it's trekking. It's going to be work socks because it's getting cold, and the plane heaters are not fantastic on our planes. Like the heaters and you're just sitting, stop so working, your feet don't. and I'm freezing. So that's going to be socks. Then I've got the string theory, which I talked about this week, which is black stripe with the variegated of the red and purple, which is string theory. Superwash merino. So it's a black stripe, and then the next it's, stripe isn't red or purple. It's, it's red, red and, and purple. It's variegated. a variegated stripe. Yep. And then I thought I would take my Pagewood Farms with me and make a uh, sock designed by this lady right here. Oh, my eyeball is open. Thanks. I'm buzzing my eyeball now. Um, I designed she a sock pattern. Time. It just was released um, this week. Monday? It's pretty. Yesterday? No. No. Last, last week? week? Last it week. Was, yes. Oh, because, right, because last Wednesday. So it's released, I think, last Wednesday. Uh, so don't cage, cage me, me in. in socks. It's a pay for pattern on Ravelry. It's three dollars. But if you watch episode ninety nine of the Five Barista Files, towards the end in grabby hands, there is a coupon code that is makes the pattern free, and that's only good until the fifteenth. So go watch my podcast and get the coupon code, and uh, get a free sock pattern. It's it's designed for highly variegated sock yarns. You can pause us and go do it. It's okay. We don't mind. Okay. So now that you've done that and got your free socks. Mm -hmm. Or free sock pattern. While you're casting on, we'll, mm. we'll talk. We'll keep, keep talking. Ground stop. Wait, I didn't talk about my crazy. Was I supposed to talk about No, that? not yet. Okay. We're not there yet. Okay. Anything for you to take off? Oh. <laughs> she talked about on her podcast. She's got like 12 things she's going to cast on, and she's going to finish the other 12, but she'll talk about in crazy. So you can just talk about that in crazy. Because we're yapping from her. My only holding this week was about 15 minutes of the raspberry lemonade mm -hmm. from her, also. <laughs> Highly handmade soup wash. <laughs> nope. Nope. It is her the... kid mohair. Oh, that's the old stuff. The 93% kid mohair. 5%. Nope. 83% kid mohair. Oh, 83% 15, kid mohair. 50% nylon. nylon and 2% super fine merino. merino. Yep. Wow, it's been long. It was a one-off. One-off. It was yep. only a, so, a one-time thing. Yep. So, I so I worked on that very little. Hopefully there will be a bunch more of that this weekend in the mitten. Okay. Reservations. Do you want to do the crazy? Yeah, so the Talking at Zombies and are, the Fat Squirrel Speaks yep, are, are doing, doing a crazy zombie squirrel what is thing. your crazy cow? Like, <laughs> Megan's is, she's gonna knit like six things at a time, which she is a severely monogamous, monogamous knitter. Amy's crazy is she's going to cast off so she has zero projects on the needles. That makes me sick. She is, she's going to knit. The, like she has, <laughs> she just <laughs> she's going to quiver in a minute. Oh, my God. She has six or seven things on the needles, and she's going to knit them all down till she has zero. That's crazy. Everyone has their own version of crazy. Yep. So, And we all have crazy this time of year, because this is a crazy-making time of year. Because, because that's what we do. Crafters. Even if we're crafting for ourselves, we go crazy, because we should have all the things, too. Yeah. So what's your crazy? It kind of goes along with taking all her projects well, in the mitten. 
So Darren and I had this thing, Darren from Knitting in Circles, he he was talking the other day about how he had three projects on the needles, and oh my god. I was like, Darren, I have eight. Shut up. Like, (laughs) you've got nothing on me. How many do you have now? Wow, eight's a lot. Um, So then I finished some things. So then I only had six, and I was like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm getting stuff done. Woo! Then I was like, well, I've got to knit this stuff for Christmas, because holiday knitting is coming out. So I've got a new design that I want to start. I've got a hat for my husband that needs to be done. I have two hats for his coworkers that he has already volunteered me for. Um, but that yarn has to be dyed mm. or bought, mm. like, so I don't even have that yet. So anyways, once I got everything written down, I realized that there are at least 12 projects that need to be completed <laughs> by... Including her even star. Including the even star, which is over 90% done, um, by the end of the year. Now, even star is probably the lowest on the priority list because it's for me, and I'm I'm going to put myself at the end because, you know... That's what we do. The A1 socks aren't going to be at the end because they're pretty and I want them. <laughs> that I don't believe in. Um... So my crazy is everything that's in my whips pile, all of my whips, and um, the Christmas projects that I've already been committed to. So 12 projects, minimum 12 projects. And that didn't even count the felted slippers that I want to make for my sister-in-law so that I can keep the ones that I don't like. The French press slippers I don't think are going to fit her as well. (laughs) So I think I'm going to keep those. I have to finish them. And I just had to stitch them together, but whatever. And then, so I'm going to knit those slippers instead. So that's not even on the list. Right. So there's 12 crazy. I'm, I'm going with 12. So I have 12 projects to finish by the end of the year. <laughs> My crazy is going to be to try to finish that sweater. In the month of November. In the month of November. You can yep. do it. It's if easy. not, I'll, I actually in my, um, when I queued it, you can put a when you want to finish it by. And I think I put December 15th. Oh. It was before the, fin- the cra- what, are your, what is your crazy? So, right. if I can't somehow make the November deadline, I'd like to still get it done by the 15th. There's but- no shaping in that, right? Like, you don't have to decrease stitches. Oh my god, wait till you see. It was there? Like, I want to try to see if I can get to the beginning of the crazy. Oh. Because you knit up, it's bottom up. And right. it's a cardigan, it's not and it's, it's a long cardigan. cardigan. It's, it's like a coat, it's, almost. Yeah. So you knit 18 inches to the armholes. And then I can't even. Diamonds. Then but, you put that aside, and you cast on, and you make the cap sleeve. Mm-hmm. But then you put everything but like the left front or right front on a cable, and then you use like you do shaping back and forth to attach the caps. I can't even. Ooh. I can't even. So there's like, not waist shaping, but there's no. all kinds of crazy. And then you go on. and you do some stuff on the back. You're gonna and have a great you, time. I don't know if, awesome. I don't even know if I can, I don't know if it's going to be, it's that's why I'm much. hoping I can plug, because each repeat is a little over an inch. Yep. So I should be able to plow through those 18 oh, inches yeah. while we're at the retreat, because God knows I'm just going to be sitting around laughing my ass off all weekend. Sorry, kids. Explicit tag. And, um, I never get a retreat explicit tag, so people just better be careful. Um, but anyway, so I'm hoping that that's still going to, like, I'll be able to get to that so I can have 50 minds helping me. Try to figure out right. what WTF is up. <laughs> Oi. You can do it. Take so, it one direction. That is my crazy. Um, and then you're supposed to tell something crazy that you've done. I haven't done anything crazy. You're such a liar. I just don't know if any, anything can be told on the podcast. I have three crazies. Church parking lot? I... <laughs> is that the craziest? I, it I really like... haven't led a very crazy life. I really haven't. No, she was the RA that busted you in the dorms for having a party. Yeah, I'm a rule She's follower. Kind of a kind of... I'm a wicked rule follower. Yeah, that's probably the craziest. <laughs> Baby Jesus was staring at me the whole time too. Oh Just use your imagination on that one and get right there. No, oh my God! If your listeners are religious, I'm gonna get sent straight to hell. <laughs> anyway, so sorry. I have three. I have three crazy. Um, Megan said, since you fly planes, there's got to be plenty of crazy in airplanes. I have... the time you almost dumped me out. That wasn't even oh close God. to crazy. She just thinks it was because she wasn't familiar with what was going on. She, I was wiggling my wings and she thought I was trying to jump The door doesn't and... shut tight, right? She didn't tell me this was on a totally different plane. She's like, yeah, I flew across country and went to the door. It wasn't shut tight. It just kept flying. It wasn't that airplane. And then she's like, we're going to wait. Wee! And she tips the plane completely sideways. And so instead of staring at the horizon, which was straight, now all of a sudden I'm looking at the ground <laughs> with the door that she says is going to come open. I was, oh my god, I almost lost. That was the first time I flew totally with you. By, it was only about a 40 degree turn, so it wasn't even that Oh bad. my god. So my first I one. I almost didn't get back in the plane with you. But then it was fun. And I was yeah. like, my friend Katie, she owns a plane. We go flying. We're like this. I get over it. Anyway. So in high school, I stole a road cone. Coming back from a movie. Awesome. 
I pulled over in a construction zone, and not like a road cone, but like the wicked tall long ones. Not like the big ones, but like it was still a cone, but it was like the, the tall elongated one. cone. Yeah, the big one. That got passed on down to each sibling as they went and it lived with them in college. <laughs> it just got passed on. There's a little family heirloom going on down the line. So that was my beginning crazy. I was a pretty, I was a big goody goody in high school. I didn't go out. I didn't party like. I wasn't you, at all, I know, right? The cheerleader, <laughs> the star softball pitcher, you know. Plus my mom would have killed. Oh, yeah. Anything the school gave me would have been nothing compared to what I would have got at home. That was really Oh, there's a crazy thing. story for you. The time that I got a Saturday detention at school and they didn't call my parents because they knew they'd kill me. They're like, as long as you show up, we won't take your parents. <laughs> I was like, I will be there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I used to break into the high school at night. Same reason as the church, actually. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh yeah, you told me that story. I um. This one story. Same story. I used to break into my high school all the time because I had a key, so I wasn't really breaking in. But you weren't supposed to be there after the janitors went home. But if I'd forget homework, I'd just take my key and go to the high school. Cause I worked at the office, so I'd open the office in the morning. Cause we were poor, so I had a part-time job and I was like, nice. on a state grant. So yeah, so I used to go into the high school all the time after hours. We weren't supposed you to be Ferris there, Bueller, changing your grades. Changing I'd been fabulous. Look at I your totally, stuff. I totally could have. Um, I worked in the office. I had access to everything. Everybody's grades, everybody's resume, or everybody's um, behavioral. No, well, that too. But like, you know, colleges arts. would call and ask for the transcripts. Oh, yeah, that was all. <laughs> anyway, um, that was my one crazy. My second crazy was I went to Vegas with three of my girlfriends from Phoenix. We had a twin engine low wing. It was a Piper, like the one I owned, but it was two engines, and it was Barney Purple. We called it, its nickname was Barney. It unfortunately was in an accident about a year and a half later, taking some of our fellow pilots with it on its Ooh. way out. But the year and a half before, three, four girls, three of the four pilots, jumped into Barney, and we flew to North Vegas, and we all came barreling out of the plane, and the line guys were just like, <laughs> we're like just the four of us and they're like okay and we jumped on the little go-kart and away we went but yeah there's just like four girls <laughs> piling out of this bright purple airplane it's not really a crazy story unless you were topless no but what was crazy is we immediately went to the crap tables got loaded <laughs> went and got food sobered up like didn't drink for a few hours got sober i'm pretty sure we went took a nap Got up, and within 12 hours, we're totally hammered again. <laughs> we went up to the top of the stratosphere and did the big shot. I don't know. It's a is. ride. It's one of the ones where it's a big, a big pole, and you sit around the outside facing out, and it shoots you about 200 feet straight up in the air. Mm -hmm. And you don't know when it's going to go. It lifts you up, and then you kind of sit there and you pulse, and all of a sudden it just, like, rockets you into the air. That ride is bad enough and scares the crap out of you enough. Now make yourself drunk, which makes everything worse. And the fact that when you go up, because you're on the top of a 40-story building, you see nothing but the valley. So for all you know, you've gone off the top of the ride and are now careening down <laughs> onto the track. Drunk paranoia. Oh my, oh my god. Me and Angie were just shrieking. We are just like pure terror. We were horrified. It was so much fun. Fun, but it was so scary. So I do not suggest getting drunk and then going on the There's big shot crazy on the top of the stratosphere. The only time I've been absolutely terrified. What? With me? <laughs> I win. Do you know when? No. When's the only time that you and I have been together when I've been absolutely terrified? Not on the airplane? No. We've talked about it. We've podcasted about it. I don't remember. <laughs> what am I never doing again? Ever. Oh. <laughs> my honor. Let's go away with asking. It'll be fun. You didn't know you were scared of it. Too no, I didn't. I didn't. You're so right. it's I not like I was scared about the whole frig. There's her crazy. There's my crazy. Don't ever get in a vehicle with Katie because she's I going to scare the <laughs> life out of you. The, um, and she almost rear-ended somebody today. She said she had it under control, but I was stopping. It was one of those. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Oh my God. So, you know how you're approaching an intersection? <laughs> so, you know how you, when you're approaching an intersection and you see that car at the stop sign, like to cross, and they kind of roll out and they stop, and, they roll, and you're like, are you going to cut me off and be a jerk or not? Right. They pulled on and blocked the other lane, and I was either going to, A, swing around them on the right leg on my horn, or swing around on the left side of them and honk my horn. All I saw was Katie had her phone in one hand, 
and the car was coming at us, was going to T-bone us. And I was like, oh my god, okay, oh my god. The imaginary brake link is gonna help me. I was me. playing Irish and music, she, okay? And she's like, zip, zip, honked. She's like, I had that totally under control, you know? I'm like, I wanted okay. to know that I was paying attention because I knew she was stomping on her brake on the other side. She calls me twitchy, and it's all her fault. <laughs> you twitch with everyone if anybody is driving. Maybe. Yeah. But I think it's especially bad when you drive uh, or probably. fly or steer the boat or whatever it is that you do. <laughs> yeah, because it's my fault. I was steering the white water. Now, if you're on a motorcycle, I'm gonna panic too. <laughs> you're, you're not going out. with me. I'm not going. Okay. okay anyway, sorry. Anyway, we go. We go. My we'll last. Go. I know. My last. My last crazy was flying freight in Georgia, South Georgia. I flew the Hurricane Katrina. That was one. Mm. We were on the east side of the storm, so we got the straight line winds, the tornadoes, the whatever. So instead of going on the east side of Atlanta, straight down to where I lived. I went on the west side of Atlanta, through the rain, all the way to Talladega, and then flew straight mm -hmm. over. So instead of going like this, I went like this. Because it was the only way to get on the storm. So that in itself was crazy enough. But another time, there was a huge cold front with thunderstorms all over it. I found a nice big gap. I'm like, okay, I'll punch through the gap quick before it closes in. Took off, talked to Atlanta. They all know me, just like up here. You fly a route long enough, being a female, you have the same call sign, you fly the same route every single day, they know who you are. So I'm like, they're like, which way do you want to go? And I'm like, put me right through the gap over whatever area. And they're like, there's no gap there. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> there's like a hundred mile gap. 20 minutes ago. And they're like, oh yeah, that's not there anymore. I'm like, well, where's the closest gap? Uh, South Carolina. <laughs> not close to me, by the way. That meant like the coast of South Carolina. Mm. I said, okay, then put me through the thinnest part. <laughs> this is what happens when you fly freight. Stupid crap happens. No passengers to worry about. No passengers to worry about. The freight doesn't complain. You only scare the crap out of yourself. So they said, we've got an eight mile spot of level four. Level four on a radar is the orange before it turns red. <laughs> the green is one. The green, the border of that, the like the blue, the green and the yellow is two. Yellow is three. The orange is four. Five is red. Red is actually actually purple is even worse, but usually don't only get those with tornado. So I said okay. So I pulled my seatbelt as tight as it would go. And I had eight miles, and they counted it down. They're like one mile till you hit it, and it was black. Like it was ten in the morning, and it was black as night out. So I punched through. It was the longest eight minutes of my life. One of only two times in my life I actually thought I might not survive a flight. I've only had probably three total now and that was the second um they counted down every mile as i went through and they kept asking how i was the only thing i could do was hold the yoke level because i was bouncing so hard i could not see my instruments so i just kept the blue side of my one instrument up because that's the sky and i just held on like i was up and down 500 feet either direction the lightning was instantaneously striking and crashing like, I couldn't hardly hear the radio over the lightning. It was brightest, like, it was blinding me in the middle of the day. All I kept thinking was I just need the wings to hold on. Like, I've, it's probably the scariest I've ever been in an airplane. The freight in the back ended up in the front seat. Some of it did. The huge fishing box that I had all my charts in ended up in the back of the airplane. I had a dozen cookies for the tower in Knoxville, Tennessee. One cookie was left in one piece when it was done. <laughs> And they counted it down, they're like, you've got less than a mile, just hold on. And I came out the other side, and all I could do was, I was just, I could, uncontrollably shaking, I didn't, nope. No? Uncontrollably you shaking. Later. Yeah. <laughs> you never, every time I've had a situation in an airplane, I've had numerous. I've had mechanical failures, I've had, I almost lost an engine in the same airplane. Um, that was up over the mountains. <laughs> I've got freezing rain in airplanes, which is the kiss of death. Um, but that was one, the thing, when you're in situations like that, is you don't have time to be emotional. As emotional as I am. But when you come down off it, you must be right. You do. You, you, I lost an engine Everybody in a single engine work. airplane <laughs> over an airport, like, on takeoff, so I was able to get it back on the ground with the student I was with. And that took seven hours before I reacted. Like, I was cool, cool. I'm like, yeah, I can work, no problem. Seven hours later, I'm sitting in my, my best friend Chris's office, and I just went, oh my god! <laughs> like, out of nowhere, like, all of a sudden my, like, subconscious caught up with me, and I... Chris is like, I'll tell him. She like starts calling my students. She's like, yeah, you have to come back. <laughs> but th that's the kind of crazy that 
make the best stories, Cause but you learn the most from. Right. Like, you live to tell the stories. So, I've got many more stupid stories. Luckily, I've learned from them and not, you know. The thing is, is what's so yellow, <laughs> what's yellow on some screens isn't the same as a yellow another day. Right. So, like, some days you fly through green and yellow and you get, like, two little bumps. And the next day you fly through green and you get the crap kicked out of you. So, it's, right. it's a healthy respect for Mother Nature. Um, we gotta do the drawing for the Amazon. So if you're unfamiliar with how this works, Katie has Go. two advertising bars on her blog, www.knittingonthefly.com. Um, and if you have an ad blocker, you can't see it, so turn off your ad blockers for those sites. Um, you just click on the Amazon link, and then you do your normal shopping, and Katie gets a very small kickback from whatever you buy using from having clicked through that. Um, link. So it's kind of nice. You don't have to type in www.amazon.com just because I'm sure you have her site. Go to www.knittingonthefly.com, click on the Amazon, and then go do your shopping. Now, you just have to remember how to do that because we don't always remember to do that. Uh, when you remember, and it, can't, and it can't be in the cart before you go. Right, yeah. You, you can't to, remember and go back later. You got no. you have to know. You have to go to the site and then add stuff to your cart and check out. But it does help me. It makes... All the expenses associated with the podcast. You just sent out a bunch of stuff in the clip from babies. And that was all drive, covered by so. the. All the shipping was covered by that. All the delivery confirmation was all covered. All the prizes that I did, I did buy a few of them. All of those were covered with the money from Amazon. So <laughs> that is much appreciated. So we had 202 qualifying purchases. This. And we're going to use random number generator. The neutral ROM. I'm going to win. Numero Rama. Numero Rama. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna so do how it. this works is the first person I draw has two weeks to contact me. If you are drawn, you have to rav me or email me, katie at netnonthefly.com, and either show me a receipt that you bought it or show me a picture. There are books that have been bought, like, a lot of you like the same books. Like, there's numerous, like, Soctopus books purchased. The first person who contacts me is who wins. Mm. Gotcha. Because you can't tell who wins. I can't. There is absolutely no zero way for me to know. It's not like I can just rav you later. I don't know who bought what. Not a freaking clue. I don't know who bought the Xbox 360 console. Good on you if it was you, but I don't know. So you get two weeks. I'll do okay. a podcast next week, and then if I don't hear from you, I'm drawing another one. After that, you get one week. And the first person who lets me know gets the prize. If it's a second or third person drawn, and then you come back later... Sorry. That's that's just I want that to be out there so everyone knows. So go ahead, ready? New, <gasps> generate. Do, 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 do. 180, 183. Oh, Tina, I told you. Okey dokey. Told you, Tina, me is over the rainbow. Okay. 183. 183. I'm gonna show that to you. Sorry, she got a message because somebody texted her in the middle of it. Katie, get so a text. this is the. <laughs> oh no! Nice. It's the horny toed women's Marty skirt. Hold on, we're gonna open a link. It's a small. It's a small. You lucky little turd. Looks like they bought a lot of them. They, they bought a bunch of different of that Stuff. of that um, horny toad. Yeah. I thought that was like a supplement at first. I was like, oh lord, like horny goat. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's a cute little skirt. You got a steal on it too, because that's not how much they paid for it. They paid. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, if you bought the horny toad women's Marty skirt, it's very cute. It's in like the a, wine tasting color. Yeah, it's like a burgundy. In a small. It's, is that A-line? Not pencil. Is that a pencil? Yeah. It's cute. It's very cute. Some, wait, what does it say? Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, we're going to highlight that because that was my way not. The oblique V-dress in time. That's not which one won, but it, I'm guessing the same person might have bought that one and it looks cute, so I want to see Maybe it. they had a gift certificate or something. That could be. Will you please open? You knucklehead. Here it goes. Oh, oh that's, that's cute, cute too! Who are you? How'd you find this stuff? <laughs> So anyway, if you bought the Horny Toad Women's Marty skirt, wine tasting in the small, I need either a receipt or a picture of you rocking that skirt because it's really Oh yeah, give cute. us a picture. It's very cute. So you have two weeks. As soon as you let me know. Oh no, you're right. It does say A-line cut. I thought oh, it was it pencil, but it does say A-line. It looks go. very pencil-like. It's made in Turkey. It's very Full elastic it's very waistband pretty. won't scrunch or suffocate. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, you if have, it suffocates you as you're wearing a yeah. skirt while wow, you're wearing it wrong. If you have, you have two weeks. So as soon as you let me know and prove it to me, I send you a $20 gift card. Um, to Amazon. Yeah, to Which Amazon. Which you should then go to Katie's site and then buy stuff. Because <laughs> clearly you know how to do it. And you should just, that would be just be yes, better. Yes, it would be fantastic. 
So anyway, those are our winners for the week. Um, my special tea at Fod this week is just knit in the mitten. You guys are probably sick of hearing about it, but we're just so excited to go. Um, I've never I'm, been. This you is, went last year. I went last year. It's my only big event I've gone to. Like, I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool, and I met, like, five people, which was really awesome. I was very glad to meet all of you guys. Well, probably more like ten people. And I was glad to meet all you guys, but I just started podcasting. Like, mm. I was just kind of getting into the groove of things, but I haven't been to anything else big. I haven't been to SSK. I haven't been to Stitches East. I haven't gone to, like, you Maryland Sheep and Wool, like, Rhinebeck. Like, I haven't done all that. Rhinebeck next Rhinebeck. year? We're in. We're somebody, going. Somebody let us know. We're going. We'll Someone on find couch. us a, sleep, a bed. Couch. Air mattress. Floor. With a pillow. I'll sleep on my hand knits. We'll go. So anyway. Maybe well, not I'm sure really, we'll but... buy enough. <laughs> I get fiber. I'm going to be a whore if I go to Rhinebeck. Just letting y'all know. But anyway. She's not talking about the fiber either. Oh! So <laughs> whatever. Get there however you need to. <laughs> Just snot face. Okay. Oh. But that's all we got. Do you have a special TFR? Size it in the minute? You. Oh. Don't cry. Don't you do it. I won't cry. I'm going to make her cry. Why? Because you're my special TFR. Because it's nice. Not only am I spending an entire week in your company, but you're my bestie and you're rooming with me and you don't mind and you've opened your house to me. You came and brought... No, don't you do I it. I did. I brought... <laughs> She's closer to crying she than I am. She brought me all the way from... She's Brown tearing up. I'm not even tearing up yet. I can make it happen. You, you watch. can, no. She's my bestie. And it's I gonna be fun. Her. My honey, she did plurk. <laughs> my honey lovingly pointed out this week that the only real vacation I'm taking this year is with Heather. <laughs> oh, I didn't talk so about she, the yarn I oh, won. Hang on, time oh, out. Her, so she plurked the, today that I had plurked that I had said goodbye to my husband this morning, and that was the one drawback to knitting. <laughs> not gonna see him for a week. She thinks that's funny. And no, what's uh, coming up so is funny. She says, "Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna see Jeremy for a week or ten days either." And she says, "But it's a good thing that we love each other enough so that we can." Miss each other. Miss each other. And I was like, yeah, because cause you're my bestie. And she's like, no, I meant Jeremy. <laughs> she meant that What I Jeremy. meant that she, I and Jeremy and her and her husband love each other enough and appreciate each other enough that they do miss each other when they're separated. Yeah. She thought I, I thought just meant she loved me enough to go on vacation with me and not her boyfriend. I totally misread that. Oh, it was funny. Whatever, I win. Okay. Monet B56 did a, I mentioned it a few weeks ago, did a crayons for cancer drive. I sent her crayons. We didn't get very many people sending in crayons, so your our odds of winning were really good. <laughs> and I won. I won a twenty-five dollar gift card Ooh, to so nice. Gritty Knits, G R I T T Y Knits dot com. I'll try to get this link to the show notes. Sticky I don't know how gorgeous. much show notes there will be. Um, most of the projects are in the old one, but it was twenty-five dollars. I know it was twenty-five dollars. It's not almost birthday. You totally just lied. <laughs> it's like seven months away. Yeah. It's always thinking of Christmas. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. oh my it's almost Christmas. <laughs> So I spent the $25 on the yarn, but I had extra money. So I bought I Love Wool. I got like four of them. Four of each of these. And I love hand spun. And then I got... <laughs> I put that on my honey's hummer. And see what you think well, that's the first time you've said it's a hummer on podcast. Oh, I can oh, say that now. Because yeah. she always says Chuck, but it's really a hummer. And he does not have any bumper stickers or any other, no. like... Oh. They get a new gas cap cover because the chrome was speckly. Like, no, it was like rest of the crap. Oh, he is his baby. It is, it is and his baby. He, he and I love it. it. Like, he's I not obnoxious it. about it. Did you not it enjoy plays. driving it? She borrowed the truck one day because her car was broken. So was at, the, at the she was garage. rocking to shoot with the windows down. <laughs> in our home. Driving down Main Street in Milo, one hand on the wheel, seat back, shoot. windows tinted. Shoot. <laughs> shoot, just blasting on. Nineties on nine, baby. <laughs> but this is so awesome. Stop it. This is the yarn I got. I picked out. It's 460 yards of a 75-25 Super Rush Merino Nylon. She doesn't name them. It's 96-26. And this is the color way. We're going to call that leaf peeping. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Oh, my God. It's totally your color. It's her Time Bomb color, her Time Bomb base. <sighs> so it's pretty. pretty. It's gorgeous. I saw it, and I was like, oh. Yours. I added it to the card. Leaf peeping. Like leaf peeping. That's so, anyway, that's all I got. What's your move cards? Oh, these I got a long time ago. I just found them. Remember I lost them? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. I finally it. found them. All right, we're going to go to the yarn store. Meet Tina. Bye. 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 See you from Knitting in the Mitten. Until next week, guys. Happy spinning and knitting. And thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I love it.
We have 52 minutes. <laughs> that, because my hair looks better in front. I have no idea. 80 something. I'm on a, I'm on a hundred. My next one's gonna be a hundred. Wow. Because I'm doing special episodes where in the mittens are not one hundred, and then I'll come back and be like, aha. Don't oh, no, I wasn't. I was looking mm -hmm. at your Oak River Township or Happy Housewife smells. That's what I was looking at. Little balls. Stop oh, it. Oh, shit. Oh, what happened? I don't know what the fuck I did. Oh, I fucked it up, though. <laughs> She's a evil, evil girl. And we're not, I'm on we're 84. Not, we're not recording this. It is like, recording. No, yeah, but you're not going to put that we're in gonna there. We're going to put this out. No, you're not. Is my I hair okay? What? Yeah, your hair's fine. You're, if you keep playing with it, it's going to get sad again. That's not going to look good. Okay. So stop it. Do you want to take a picture and see how you look first? No, I'm going to. If you say it looks like this. Ow! Got it. Okay, snuggle. <laughs>